Why Ron Paul? Even though the puppet president position of the United Corporation of America can do little alone to change the game, even though we also need to vote out at least 95% of Congress with millions of simple steps, I'm registering Republican this election and voting for Ron Paul because he is the only quote electable candidate talking about peace. The only candidate in either party talking about ending current wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, and others, and not starting new ones. Even if Ron Paul doesn't get elected, we deserve a real challenge to Obama in the general election, and none of the other candidates have a chance at beating the incumbent. If nothing else, this Air Force veteran can bring a radical policy of peace to a wider audience than the Republican quote debates. Try listening to a Ron Paul highlights reel on YouTube for a debate on one of the cartoon news networks. And even if you don't agree with all his very consistent positions, surprise, you'll hear rational discourse. I know his vision of dramatically reduced government may scare many, but since the revolving doors surrounding most regulatory agencies allow them to be used more as tools for the corporate industrial complex to maintain hegemony, is less of that really worse? Why Ron Paul? Not just because he is the only mainstream candidate in both parties with any real empathy for the worldwide occupation of the 99.99%, Uh, There's a lot of people that are victims of this business cycle. We can't blame the victims, but we also have to point. I'd go to Washington as well as Wall Street, but I'd go over to the Federal Reserve. Uh, They they create the financial bubbles, and you have to understand that. You can't solve these problems if you don't know where these bubbles come from. But who got stuck? The middle class got stuck. They got stuck. They lost their jobs, and they lost their houses. If you had to give money out, you should have given it to the people who were losing their mortgages, not to the banks. Not just because the mainstream still insists that nobody predicted the Great Recession. I'm voting for Ron Paul because he is the only candidate in either party talking about the Federal Reserve, because he tried to prevent this extra radical consolidation of wealth and the quote Great Recession at least 10 years ago. I don't agree with him on every single issue exactly, but he nails all the ones that matter most. Not just because all the other quote electable candidates support the continued expansion of the war on drugs, the war on terror, and cybersecurity. For over 100 years they were legal. What you're inferring is, you know what, if we legalize heroin tomorrow, everybody's going to use heroin. How many people here would use heroin if it was legal? I bet nobody would put the hand, oh yeah, I need the government to take care of me. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. I don't want to use heroin, so I need these laws. I'm voting for Ron Paul because he is one of the few who voted against the USA Patriot Act and the recent treasonous National Defense Authorization Act. I'm voting, quote, blue Republican without expectations of hope for change by replacing one seat in corrupt government. But if nothing else, I hope we can send a message to the world that we, the people of America, want peace. Not because paperless electronic voting machines are intended to be rigged and our votes don't matter as much as they used to. I'm voting for Ron Paul and telling people about it because he could really win as a constitutionalist right now in this year of 1776, I mean 2012. Why Ron Paul? I'm voting Ron Paul because when he speaks, he almost always speaks from the heart, unlike most politicians. You can feel him telling you what he truly believes instead of just what his polls or handlers say. So who should he choose for vice president? Who else speaks from principled and good positions? I would love to see him run with Dennis Kucinich. Someone who is seeking the uh, Republican nomination as a running mate. Uh, Who would you choose? Ron Paul. I want people who bring diversity of opinion so we have different ways of looking at the world. And Ron Paul would do that. He and I agree tremendously on, uh, on, on international policy. If you look at the voting records, you know, you might see a vote being... You know, 235, 233 to 2 
And you'll know what the two are. Percentage of fault, okay? So I admire him, and, I, and he's my friend. And on, on, on domestic policy, we're pretty far apart. But, you know, I, I think that we could uh, work to uh, work with each other to talk about the direction America is capable of and find ways to meet a common ground. I, I want our party to be able to have the broadest appeal so that we're not just, you know, representing one type of politics. Ryan Paul is the person who can help us do that. Or Cynthia McKinney, another of my few heroes in Congress. Or maybe Buddy Romer, who is running on the single issue of campaign finance reform and backs Occupy Wall Street. I would trust most compromises found in such a team of, quote, rivals in the White House, at least wildly more than any other, quote, electable options presented in any election in my lifetime. I would love to vote for such a team of allies for peace in 2012, even though we must also outgrow the octopus and occupy the world, even though we must also apply critical thinking to more of our thoughts and daily dollar votes, even though we must also spread love and solidarity for our fellow humans around the world, not to immediately realize the world we want, but to at least help shift the consciousness towards peace. That's why Ron Paul, 